Porter, let me, let me start with you. Um, are you. Are you kind of a skeptic on, on this tech innovation theme in China, and if so, why? Well, China, um, first of all, has transitioned from uh, what we can politely call uh, a technology transfer um, environment uh, that existed up until and is modestly continuing uh, through this decade. But uh, they've got a half a dozen major multi-billion dollar government programs. And you have to understand that 80 percent of the businesses in China are still owned or controlled by the government. Um, they've got a half a dozen or more major, major multi-billion dollar programs to stimulate technology and innovation uh, through education. They're graduating uh, more than a million PhDs every year. Most of them are uh, coming, coming directly into the sciences. And, and uh, th the problem that China has right now is that uh, the cultural um, history and the social history of the, of the country and the educational institutions basically let the best and the brightest over the last decade go to other venues outside of China because they got better research facilities, they got higher pay, they got greater freedom. Um, some of the ones that, uh, that are the, bet, the cream of the crop in China um, unfortunately have fallen victim to corruption and misrepresentation. There's a lot of flawed science that's coming out of these programs. Um, the biggest and, and, and uh, most impressive um, drivers in, in, in innovation and technology are the two situations that were emphasized in some of the presentations this morning. The, the environment in China, um, you heard from Alex Lightman, uh, China in, in 20 or 30 years could be consistently a Sahara. Uh, the Chinese know that. The huge investment surge, historic and never, never equaled in, in any kind of economic history over the last 25 years. Double digit growth for, for 25 years created impossible to solve environmental problems. And, much of the technology and innovation is targeted uh, at solving and or first addressing and then trying to solve some of the, uh, the environmental problems that China is facing. The second major driver is the aging population. So healthcare and innovation in caring for uh, a diminishing productive population is a major, major concern of the government, which still has 25 million people coming from the provinces to the urban areas every year uh, looking for jobs, looking for a better life. The government has to have housing. They have to have education facilities. They have to have health care. Uh, and they have to have jobs for those 25 million people. Because if the, everybody in Beijing, and, and we've got a very, very monumental uh, moment coming up in, in two and a half weeks when the, the National Party Congress meets on, in November in Beijing to pick a next government for the next decade. Um, they know that 25 million people a year is a revolution in China. So they're working very diligently to address the whole question of technological innovation.